Mama, can you see the irresponsibility we're dealing with right now? flight was scheduled for 4.50 I got to the airport at um, 3.50 an hour an hour before 
an hour before. And they haven't told us that. Can you can you can you see the irresponsibility we're dealing with right now? Hi guys, good morning. So I landed at Buja yesterday. Ah. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you my ordeal yesterday, but it was so, I was so frustrated. Okay, so I booked Arrow 450 flights. My hair looks so terrible, I know. 450 flight and I proceeded to get to the airport at about 3 350 that's an hour before you know the set time so when I got to the airport I um, went straight to check-in so as I got to check-in the lady was like oh you cannot what is she? she was like oh that's um, the first class is um, killing them that they don't have any planes and that's when you hear Eric just know you're traveling with Eric because I went on Eric plane and I was like oh wow she was like that's it so so I now I was about I was like which kind of problem I was just like okay no worries and I was, went straight to the patron I was just waiting so as I was waiting I waited for one hour I waited for two hours Actually, when I got to the airport, they had announced, they had sent me an email that they had moved the flights to 6 o'clock. I was like, hi, Eru Sutaki. So they maybe come to the airport way before time. I was like, oh no, wahala. It was now when I got to the airport that the lady said to me that you're going to fly on an Arik airplane, even though Air is going to move you to an Arik airplane. That's the agreements that they have with Arik. I said, no problem. I took my stuff. Okay, I went straight. So after checking, I went straight to the patron. I was waiting. So I waited one hour, two hours. Then six o'clock now came. I was like, ah, this is definitely going to be this flight. So as I was there now and it was past six, I was hearing something like arrow, something, something, something. I thought we were boarding. And now I went straight to um, gate eight. And the woman was not like, what are you doing here? They haven't announced in boarding for arrow. What are you doing here? And I said, I, I, thought, I, I thought I heard um, arrow being announced for boarding. And then she was not like, what are you doing here? Um, arrow has not announced for boarding. And I went back upstairs. Then, and I went to ask, they were like, oh no, arrow is not, they've not announced for boarding and I was asked if they were on ground they were like no and I had error again announcements the second time and I went to meet them is error on ground they were like oh yes but they haven't announced for boarding I'm like okay and I went to go and sit down and I heard error announcement again and I went to go and ask the one I'm like oh no error is calling all these passengers downstairs and one of them was saying maybe they may cancel your flight I was like god forbid I was like fuck no they shouldn't cancel the flight sorry about the background noise guys I was like no they shouldn't cancel the flight though so I like, just gonna find out what they're asking the passengers to do downstairs and I went downstairs all the error passengers were checking and then they were now like making an announcement saying that you guys just taking everybody's boarding pass and saying that unfortunately um you can we can no longer go with Arik. Arik has cancelled and that's now we're going to move you guys to Dana and then everyone was now like talking agitated or like oh what's gonna happen to their luggages what's gonna like oh my luggages are safe and everyone was just like talking and finding out what's going to happen like why is this happening like why do they have to do this like if they knew they didn't have any planes why do they take our money you know everyone's agitated and everyone's you know just venting out their frustration because we waited for six hours at the airports only for them to tell us that Eric isn't flying anymore and then we're going to go through Dana and they just literally made that arrangement at the counter with their boss via telephone that they were going to 
um take us board us on Adana. So I'm just there, you know, chilling, you know, waiting. Next thing they call eleven names because I got there. I was the last person to get downstairs to the counter. People were already there. So they called 11 names and said these 11 names should go and join, join a piece. That a piece is going to take them to Abuja. And then they didn't call me. I was not trying to beg the woman. Oh, how far now? Let me in now. Add one more name now. Well, I was not like, no, talk to my superior. Talk to this lady. So I was about to talk to the lady and the lady was on the phone. And she was not like, excuse me, I'm talking to my, my superior. I was not like, okay. I waited for her. I was like, ah, my mom, how far now? I, mean, I want to enter this flat. She was not like, no, 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 no. She was not like, the moment where you went, what, when we were collecting names, I was not like, but I didn't really hear that. I was like, Poppy, you made the announcement. I was not like, I now lost my shit. I was not like, shut up. Shut up. You people are very stupid. You people are very, very stupid. You people just did this nonsense. How am I supposed to know? You think what you did is right? Is it good? Is it practice? Is it normal practice to treat your customers like that? You're not even, you're not even showing empathy in the fact that you know we 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 planned ourselves and we paid money to go somewhere at 450. You're telling me whether I should have heard you. What the fuck are you saying? I was so angry. I'm saying like if you if you if you if you give me any excuse, eh, why I shouldn't enter this Dana flight today, me and you, I will break everything. Because I was so angry. I was like, I was shouting, I was yelling, like what what what, what irresponsible rubbish is this? You're not even owning up to your to your to your to your mess up. You people did not have planes, but you took money in the first place. You knew that there was poor scarcity in Nigeria for the past two weeks. You knew. Why would you take money? You knew you don't have plane to fly and you're begging, begging other airlines to take you in. You knew. This is this right error is suspended for now on the website. You just started taking our money because I already booked this ticket three days ago. So I, as at three days ago, you already made the arrangement with Arik. But Arik disappointed me. Um, disappointed. I was so pissed for her justifying or blaming me. I didn't want anyone to blame me for shit. So the fact that she sat down there at the counter let me fact after insulting her she just left the counter because i was like i was so pissed off i never yelled like that in my entire life at the airport i lost my shit i was like you don't dare i think it was the whole frustration of staying there for six hours getting to abuja very late and i really wanted to go out in abuja that night so i didn't even end up going anywhere because i was so freaking tired so I got to Abuja really, really late, and it's very, it's, it, Nigeria is not safe anymore. It's not as safe, there's robbery, there's, they're robbing here, kidnapping here. So you don't really want to put yourself in that position where you're using public transportation at night and there's, there's the danger of, um, of kidnappers out there because you're, you're arriving at an, at an ungodly hour. Do you understand? The airlines don't even think about that. They don't even think about that. What same country? does what they do they just did without even getting sued because they know that what they did they can get away with it what, what, why why would they do why would they take money from us why would they take money from us they know for the past two weeks now they know that there was false capacity and flying for them would be difficult they knew they could have easily refunded every customer their money but because of their greed and because they don't know how to do things well in Nigeria they, they didn't they didn't refund anybody their money they went ahead took all our monies and did not fulfill the service they almost cancelled the flights they almost cancelled it but I heard that people were protesting downstairs that's why they did not cancel it and they made a last minute decision to onboard us on airpiece and Dana so they took 11 people on airpiece and the rest of the three of us on Dana and I was so frustrated and I was shouting if I didn't shout like that and I didn't threaten to break things maybe they would have just said oh and um, we're gonna cancel on you guys it's so annoying I hate to talk to people anyhow in this country but I feel like if you don't show them madness and then next thing the only thing that even saved us was the fact that the person that was the last, the, the person that was among us, the three of us, was a um, aero worker. So he already knew people. Because the funny thing about the whole situation was that after getting at the woman, she left the counter. Most of the customers, most of the staff, aero staff, left the counter, and I don't know where they went. So then, when it was now time for Dana to board, 
the dental officials were not looking for the air people at the counter but they couldn't find them and they now told us that oh are you guys passengers for error we were like yes they were like oh dana is about to board you you guys should start coming upstairs that um they were trying to inform the error people the error officials so that they can give us a boarding pass so we can board dana so we went upstairs and we were waiting when they now, when they now announced um time for boarding for dana um i was now waiting for the Aero officials to come and give us our boarding pass so that we can board Dana. We waited and then we now saw the lady trying to hurry up and come and give us our boarding pass. I already told the man that if I miss this Dana flight today, my madness will know no bounds because I would look, <laughs> yo, I will look for their inner office, whether it's upstairs. And I will terrorize the place because nobody is going to treat me like that. Nobody is going to treat me like that. So, anyways, that was what happened. And I got to the airport. I mean, I boarded. The woman gave us our tickets, and then <clears throat> we boarded the flights. There were still delays on the airplane, taxiing, and stuff. We found finally took off at about past ten, I think arrived about 11 got to the house at 12 midnight i was spent so tired slept off watching a movie on netflix and then called it a night okay guys so i just finished having breakfast i had moi moi and some liver sauce with um, shaki <laughs> What we call shaki is this really soft part of the cow meat, I think. So that belly part of the cow meat. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to have um, start my self care routine. You know, wash my face. I'm using a towel because I did my lashes. So I'm just looking for ways to place the same so called. Uh -oh, there's a lot of water here. Ooh. Bear with me with the angle because you know I'm trying really hard to shoot content for you guys. So, so, so let's scour through my sister's bathroom and see what she has. That spa skincare and see if she's learning from me because. I don't really know these days. Show you guys more. <laughs> okay, so what is this? Oh man, this is not a nice fit. So let's see what she has. So she's still using St. Ives apricot scrub. I'm not gonna use this, but I guess it works for her. So I've never heard of this before, but it has vitamin C and turmeric. It's a gel cleanser. So I'm going to use this on my face. So I'm going to use this on my face and cleanse it. My face is so oily. I haven't washed my face since yesterday. So... Super and Glory two minute tea zone detox scrub. Let me show you what it looks like. 
is it. So I'm going to be using it on my skin. Um, I think you're supposed to just use it on your T-zone, which is your nose, your forehead, and your shin. Chin. <laughs> um, yeah, so you're supposed to apply, it says, apply a small dollop of scrub your nose in it. So a damp T-zone. Massage in circular motions for two minutes, rinse well, and then apply moisturizer. So I feel my face is clean. This thing has a lot of particles in it. I don't remember the last time I used a scrub this heavy. It's really. Oh, it really scrub you. Hope it doesn't tear my skin apart. I haven't used a scrub with this no, this potent before. I feel this scratching my face. So I'm just gonna wait for a few minutes, two minutes, but my memory's more longer than two minutes. And then I'm gonna wipe it off my face. Oh fam. I feel like I have no pores. Like I feel like it really exfoliated my skin to like bare. I wish I oh god, I wish I filmed I was on the phone. But I was cleaning it as I was on the phone, but I wish I like showed you guys because see here. Here is like, I didn't touch here, so here is like maybe bumpy, and here is like, it's red, but at the same time, it's there are no pores. It's like it cleaned out everything that was inside. The residue is still here. I'll still wipe it off with a toner, but yo, fam. I really like that it's, I feel like my skin is clean and it exfoliated my skin. I know with bendy rollers on my head, but I'm going to the salon and uh, I'm just wearing this wig on my head just so that when I get to the salon, they can lay it for me and you know, style it and everything. I don't want to carry two wigs, so yeah, I'm gonna be on my way to the salon and um, I think I might do professional makeup, but I'm not sure yet if I will do the professional makeup because I'm very iffy about some people. People do my makeup for me. I feel like I do my face. I'm following you now. I feel like I do my face better than, you know, makeup artists. <laughs> ah. So I'm here at the salon or salon and I'm just gonna walk in. Pretty. It's pretty emptied out. I hope they are open, not the one that's the one now be open.
how I did my makeup now because I don't know if I'm going to show the process of how I get my makeup done, but all you're going to see is that before and after and a full transformation. Full transformation. Okay, so we're going to leave your camera for Okay guys, so I just finished my makeup. I feel like it's not giving. Like it's just simple. Like it's so simple. I like it's sweaty makeup. This is what I'm potentially going to wear. Not potentially actually, this is what I'm going to wear. I'm going to just bring the hair out. Okay. I think I'm okay with the makeup. It's not bad. Already, I tried to bring my hair down like this, so I think I quite like my hair like this. Yeah. So this is the full look. It's pretty hot right now. We're about to go. Yes, can I see. My sister is wearing her shoes, so that's what I'm wearing. Shiny. I'm not convinced. 